Hey YouTube, it's Pretty Eye Panda here, and I'm finally going to do actually a double review. So as you guys saw in my March favorites, if you watched it, I am absolutely in love with the original Beauty Blender. Um, I just happened to pick up the original one because they started having them in little boxes at Sephora. Like I know on Sephora online they sell the Beauty Blender and the cleaners and all that and the sets, but they um only recently like the little little containers of them have been like next to the cash register so I caved in I picked one up it was like 1950 and um this is incredible I'm kind of considering throwing away all of my makeup okay I'm not gonna literally throw them away but I don't use them anymore because I have this so I think that says a lot so if you guys know about the beauty blender pretty much um sponge don't use it dry wet it squeeze out all the extra and it expands to like this size it's really bouncy and soft and then the water actually helps um, spread out the makeup and so it doesn't like get absorbed in the sponge and then it also helps like it bounce across and then you just like bounce it on your face like that to get the foundation on. Um, to clean it I don't I didn't purchase the Beauty Blender cleaner but um, what should I call it I used my Ember I kind of used my Ember Lease um, Air seal water while it was dry and like I dropped it on there and then let it sit for a little bit and then rinse it out and then I put my clinic cleansing milk on it and rinse it out and it came out like this so yeah I pretty much got most of the stains out I mean I'm not gonna lie there's still some stains there but it happens right so yeah I'm also going to review the covergirl queen all day flawless foundation now they have this in the clean collection as well as the regular collection but the Queen Collection also uh, obviously has um, deeper skin tones because that is, you know, Queen Latifah's line and all that. So, yeah. Um, I had the darkest shade, True Ebony, which is Q85. Q85. And True Ebony. Like, that says True Ebony, I promise. Okay, and I like it because it has a pump. It's, um, the 3-in-1 is, um, foundation concealer and powder so it dries to a matte sort of powdery finish but it's not quite annoying I use I use this I applied this with a brush and I didn't really like the effect it gave with the brush so I used sponge and I liked it better I don't know if that makes any sense but it does <laughs> to me um, this also has SPF 20 which is awesome it's 30 milliliters or one ounce like every other foundation so yeah pretty much how I'm going to do this today I'm going to open the pump uh, and then I'm just gonna put a pump in my fingers and just dot it around my face um, it doesn't dry super quick it does have the weird smell like the, the Revlon color stay foundation has but again I also think that's because it dries matte um, it does dry kind of fast but not like color stay fast so like I can do this and not be afraid that's gonna dry on me so I'm just bouncing this on my face this is already wet and um, stuff, and as you can see, it's just like blending it out really nicely. This is a pretty good match for my skin tone. Um, when I was in the store, I was getting sort of upset when I wanted to try it out because it looked like it was about the same color as the, um, what was it, Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse in the darkest shade, which is actually maybe slightly too light for me, but I try to use it anyway. And I've been able to get away with it. I don't know why. Okay, so that's pretty much one little layer of foundation. And it looks not dry. It doesn't look matte yet because, I mean, I just applied it with a wet sponge. So it's not going to look dry. It's not going to look powdery yet. So I'm going to take a pump and put it on Beauty Blender. And I'm going to dot it on my nose, Ooh. on my forehead, and around my cheeks, and right here. By the way, on my lips right now is Max Lavender Whip Lipstick. Um, it's a cream sheen finish, and it's in their new like Baking Beauties or something like that collection. And um, I'm wearing it with current lip liner. So it is slightly skewed and slightly like purplish, it's slightly more purplish than it actually is, but I'm 
loving it so far. It literally just came in the mail, so I slapped it on and I'm in love with it so far. I've been really just liking the lavender lip. I don't know, this is my silly way of trying to get into spring colors. In my makeup, anyway. That is two pumps of the foundation now. It's about one pump on my forehead, though. My forehead also doesn't need as much coverage. As you can see, it covered up a lot of my scarring here and here. And I usually just let that go because, I mean, I don't actually care for it. But it says that it's supposed to also be, it's supposed to be lasting powder powder, coverage of the concealer and blendability of a foundation. So I want to see how well it lives up to that. I've gotten it to cover before, but I want to make sure that it wasn't a fluke. So let's go center it there and center it there. So it's going to bop that around. Bop, 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 bop to the top. Thumbs up if you remember High School Musical 1. <laughs> so as you can see, using the Beauty Blender just like gives me a much more um, natural appearance to my foundation. Well, as you can see, it covered up the scarring that I was trying to reach over. And that's without using a color corrector or anything under it. And it definitely covered up in three layers, which I appreciate. Um, I'm not going to say this is full coverage. I don't think this is full coverage. Um, I mean, I've used stage makeup before. This isn't... This doesn't look like full coverage, but it's medium buildable. It builds up pretty high. It doesn't feel heavy at all, and that could be a combination of me using the Beauty Blender. Remember, like if you're applying it with foundation, it's probably going to feel lighter. Um, also for primer. I didn't show you guys the primer, but I was using Benefits Professional. I'm, I like it. It's cool. It fills in the pores. And as you can see, my scarring is all covered up. You don't really see it. And it still has like a really naturalish looking look to it. So, um, yeah, I don't set this foundation with a powder. I just have it be what it wants to be. And this is pretty much what it wants to be. And as you can see, it's kind of drying out a little bit, but it doesn't like pull the moisture out of my skin, which I appreciate. Um, I don't have particularly dry skin as it is, but if a foundation starts making my skin feel dry, that's a no-no. And this definitely doesn't do that. Usually if I use like a powder foundation, I remember using Cover FX once, like I tried it out and the powder just felt like it just sucked, it just <laughs> all the moisture in my skin and I didn't like that at all. Maybe it'll work in the summer, like when my skin's a little bit more oily or stuff. So yeah, I'm just letting this dry and I guess if you back track and forth you can kind of see that it's drying. It's definitely more matte now than like while I was applying it. Either way, this is the completed look. I love the Beauty Blender. It's really awesome. Everyone should have one. Like, stop buying foundation brushes and get a beauty blender. It'll change your life. That's all I'm gonna- like, that's pretty much it. And if you must have another foundation brush, I think the Urban Decay Optical Blurring Brush is really, really awesome. I know it's a little bit pricey, I don't really remember how much it is. I want to say it was about 20 bucks or so. But it's like small and domed and you've seen me use it before and it makes anything I wear look amazing. You know, except this foundation because, I don't know, this CoverGirl is special. I always have to do a little bit extra work for CoverGirl. I only use this a couple times and like I can actually see where I was using it. It's so weird. Anywho, and as far as this foundation goes, I like this foundation. Um, it doesn't feel horrible and I think this might actually work really nicely for the summer months just because, um, what you call it, especially this combination, it dries matte-ish. It doesn't like suck the moisture out of your skin. It looks pretty natural. I can see that it's dried, dried matte. Um, if you see any shimmer, it was because I applied Raisin Blush, which is a matte, MAC blush that I wear a lot. And I also applied NARS Laguna Luminizer to uh, bridge my nose, forehead, uh, high, um, high points of my cheekbones, and my chin. So, yeah. This is what the foundation looks like once it's dried down. It's matte, pretty much. 
And um, the only thing I don't recommend this for is especially dry skin because it does dry down matte. Usually um, using something with more of a luminous feel or like a tinted moisturizer feels better on your skin because this might actually dry it out. And that's just my two cents because I do have dry patches on my face. This normally and normally doesn't illuminate those, but I do have dry patches on my face. So yeah, recommend those both of those products. They each get thumbs up. So yeah, until next time, stay beautiful inside and out. Bye!